Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 1996 Mercedes E220 Cabrio W124. Um, finished in Azurite blue with uh, blue power hood, eight hole alloys, um, electric mirrors. Being a later one, it's got the uh, uh, the later style lights. It's got a tow pack on it, remote alarm locking with the uh, the later style of that. Um, that's it in terms of its uh, its spec. We'll go around it and point out the uh, the good bits and not so good bits, so you know what you're getting. Um, from the front, it's done 147,000 miles, so I think you can expect rightly the um, uh, the bonnet to be a bit stone chipped as it is around the uh, uh, the front here. Um, there's a couple of tiny dinks just in the grille. Well, obviously, bigger stones have hit it. Um, bumper top here, yeah, that's a bit stone chipped as well along there as you'd expect, but the lights are okay, I think. Um, <clears throat> the chap that we got it from perhaps didn't quite understand the size of this. They're not enormously big, but uh, he was quite short, and I think he struggled to see where he was going, really, because there are a few sort of uh, um, bumper scuffs and stuff on it here and there. Um, in fact, the near side bumper corner has got the least scuffing of all. There's a very, very, very tiny scuff just there, but no more than that. Um, looking down the near side, it all looks pretty straight in terms of parking dinks and stuff. There's nothing really I can see in the doors or anything. Unusually for a 124, the front wings are superb around here. There's no um, no nasties here at all. Uh, whether it's been done or not in the past, I couldn't say. Um, you can't really tell on those. There's this very, very tiny sort of ripple just there, which may mean it's had some um, it's had some work in the past, but whatever, it's, uh, there's nothing poking through at the moment there. And it's good around the arch as well. Um, tiny bit of bubbling just coming through the paint, just by, or the indicator repeater just there. Uh, bonnet top there is good. Screen has got a few very, very minor, very minor chips in it, none of which are MOT failures, but it's one or two sort of tiny chips here and there. Um, hood, let's have a look at the hood. Could do with a clean, really, more than anything else. It's got a lot of these sort of, you know, it's like someone's cleaned it in the past with. Um, a, lint, a, a cloth that's got lint in it because there's sort of a lot of little bits that will come off but um, really needs uh, some, some hood cleaner on it and it'll come out it's just uh, lint in the hood really more than anything else could do with a clean um, there's a bit of verdigris on the edges here I think it spends a lot of time down actually there's a tight they always get a tiny nick just there this one's no exception just where the frame goes over tiny nick about an inch long just there and it's getting a bit thin just uh, here once again where the um, where the, the frame folds down. It must be the original hood. Um, near side rear wing and door. Let's go back to those. There's <coughs> a big sort of a few scratches just here. I don't even see them on the camera. There's one there, one that goes along there to there, one there to there, and one there to there. Um, hasn't uh, dented it or anything, but the scratches are there. <coughs> a little bit of bubbling under the paint just there by the chrome trim. Um, the rest of the door's okay, the window's good, that's just a bit of a sticker inside which will come off. Um, near side rear quarter and wing, they're all good there. The arch is nice, it's not bubbling up on the outside or anything. You have however got the, the, the worst parking scuff on the car which has actually caused a tiny depression in the back of the near side rear wing here. It's scuffed the near side rear, rear wing there and there's a depression between say there and there on the near side rear wing. Um, there's a slight crack in the bumper that goes from there to there and it's scuffed the bumper, this side rear bumper corner, along here. Um, that's sort of cosmetically the, uh, the most annoying bit really. Um, previous repair to the bumper just there which you can just about see. Boot lid's all good, um, rear window being glass is all fine. I know the, electric, the heated rear window works in that because um, I had it on yesterday. Around the top panel here it's all good so the hood really does need a good clean there. Um, down the offside, once again, all looks pretty straight. There's possibly a slight parking dink in the driver's door, which I'll have a look at when I get a bit closer. Um, offside rear corner, slight parking scuff just there. Uh, that's just a bit of something sticky which is coming off. Mastic or something. Um, there's a bit of a three or four tiny scuffs just here on the offside rear valance. One there, one there, one there, one there. Um, offside rear wing all looks good. Hood on the offside, we've got three or four nicks just there in the bottom of the, um, uh, the hood, which is, say, in the normal place. And once again, the same as on the other side, um, 
a small split just say between there and there, the double line hood so it doesn't, uh, doesn't let water into the interior. Um, doesn't pour through certainly. Um, so a small split just between there and there because it's the original hood. Uh, what else can we tell you about it? Um, offside rear wing is all good there. Driver's door is <clears throat> fine. Yeah, I thought there was a parking dent there, but it's not. It must, must just be the light. I can't feel anything. That all looks good. Uh, screen on the driver's side. That's just the remains of a sticker. So a couple of... Oh, there's a sort of slightly larger chip just there, but it's not enough to worry the MOT man. It's not big enough. In fact, it looks like it's been filled at some point. Um, offside front wing, once again, <coughs> is very, very good around the front front edge here in the, in the normal spot. That's uh, fine. No problems there. Good around the indicator. Um, offside front bumper corner, very slightly scuffed. A little bit of paint loss just there. Um, let's have a look inside. Full leather inside. Um, could do with a with a valet, but uh, it's got the proper Mercedes mats in and stuff like that. Um, driver's seat is worn on the bolster. This has got the, the bigger bolster seats on it. Um, and the driver's seat has worn through, as you can see, hopefully. There's a sort of a... A split about so long that's gone right through on the bolster in the normal place where they always do uh, dash is all nice um, it's all in good shape so it could do with a with, with, a, with a, a valet really we'll give it a vacuum before it goes out we won't valet it though um, the a post panel here is slightly loose i guess someone's replaced the central locking module which is why that's been that's not fastened back on properly center console looks good passion seat looks good Rear seats look fine, so it just needs to clean the vacuum. Um, going to the other side, a bit of staining on the near side rear seat, which I'm going to look at. Passenger seat is all good. Yeah, near side rear seats has got a bit of dirt and staining just down here, but it's just a, a bit of dirt more than anything else. That's about it. Pleasant car, actually. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk One other thing I forgot to mention, the butler on the passenger side that brings your seatbelt forward no longer works on the passenger side, driver's side works fine. Um, that's it, end.